Thanks for calling in. Uh, Julio is in uh, Chicago on our independent line. The qualities that make a great political leader and uh, your thoughts, Julio, go ahead. Well, thank you for C-SPAN for everything you guys do. I'm a huge C-SPAN fan. And as an independent journalist myself, I think it's what makes a great political leader is someone that isn't worried about what lobbyists uh, tell him to do or isn't worried about what the media has to say. I think a good political leader is someone that focuses on the law of the land, the Constitution. Someone, you know, I, I, I think back to the speech that killed Kennedy uh, back, uh, what, five months before he died, where he urged that no political leader should be a part of secret societies or take secret oaths. And, you know, you hear the, the rumors of different politicians doing, you know, in these secret societies, or you hear about, you know, all the different think tank groups that basically set the agenda and laws for this country. I think we need someone that truly, when they take that oath to office and when they swear on the Bible to protect and serve the Constitution, they actually mean it. They don't have, you know, their, their fingers crossed. Or they, 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 you know, and what, the, what you said of who I think may be or who we think is yeah. someone that... Uh, I think uh, a guy like Congressman Ron Paul, he has a nickname Dr. No. He stood by the Constitution, even though, uh, you know, a bill like the Patriot Act may seem patriotic, although it's, you know, a, the Fourth Amendment takeaway. He's someone that stood by his own principles, his own morals, and said, no, he's standing by the Constitution. We need more politicians like that. Maybe even the founding fathers, uh, George Washington, Jefferson, and so forth. Those are the real people in our country, real leaders that exemplify standing up for what's right in the Congress. Julio, appreciate you uh, calling in. Got a couple minutes left here. We want to get to as many calls as we can as the governors are coming back at about 3 o'clock to talk about education, in particular the reauthorization of No Child Left Behind in Daytona Beach. Now we'll go to our Democrats line. Vincent, you're in Florida. Where are you calling from? Uh, yes, I'm, uh, I, I'm actually not in uh, Daytona Beach. I'm in Fort Myers. Fort Myers, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, the things that we've been talking about here for a number of years, both Republicans and Democrats, is we need to get the corporation people, they've had meetings very shortly, a number of meetings, but we need to get all the corporation peoples and our international partners overseas uh, to do more manufacturing and more production because 